Good afternoon, everybody. I'd like to welcome you to our webcast this afternoon. My name is Brian Murray, the Director of Travel here at AAA, and I'd like to thank you for spending some time with us this afternoon. You know, this pandemic has kind of curtailed a lot of travel opportunities, but uh, one thing's clear, people do want to travel, our members want to travel, and they're longing for um, opportunities and suggestions, and uh, we're here with that today. Closer to home is kind of uh, front and center at the moment, and uh, we're gonna focus on that with our program today. I do wanna let you know, you're all in listen-only mode. However, if you do have any questions or comments during the program, please feel free to type them in the question panel box on your screen. Questions will be entertained at the end of the uh, program, but I know Jared uh, is interactive and he'll probably have you uh, putting some information in along the way. So without further ado, I would like to introduce Jared Kettinger, who is the Business Development Executive with Amtrak Vacations and Rail Bookers. We're going to hear today all about U.S. National Parks and Beyond. So Jared, thank you so much for being with us this afternoon. Thank you, Brian. Uh, I'm very excited for all the members of AAA on the presentation. Uh, and thank you so much for hosting me, Brian, today. Uh, as, as he just said, I very much like to be interactive. We actually already have a question. So some of you are already typing into the questions box. Uh, Grace said, um, in addition to coach travel, would you also be able to give us options for sleeper accommodations? And Grace, you'll be happy to know that we are gonna be talking about the sleepers later on in the presentation. Uh, but as Brian said, I do like to be interactive and I like to do kind of a virtual call out, a virtual uh, stand up, so to speak. And so if any of you and all of you could type your name and where you're dialing in from into the questions box on the side of the GoTo webinar panel. That way, number one, you know that, uh, I know that you can hear me, but also I, I like to give a little bit of a, a shout out to everyone that's taking the time on the presentation. And I'll get myself started off. My name is Jarrett. And uh, although I am of course working with the folks of West Central New York, I'm actually in South Carolina right now. We have Cheryl and Glenn from Rochester, New York. We have uh, Lois from Fair, uh, Fairport, uh, Karen from, and I'm gonna, I'm sure I'm gonna butcher this, uh, Genesio, New York, uh, Kim from Rochester, we have Lincoln from Buffalo, Karen from Clarence, New York, Kathy from Newfield, New York, Judy from Rochester, Mike and Adrian from Wheatfield, Ken and Peggy from Rochester, Sue from North Tawanda, John and Elaine from uh, Fairport. So we have quite a many people on the presentation today. And so folks, keep continuing to be interactive. We have uh, Donna and Randy from Fairport. Joan is calling in. Tim and Carol from Syracuse. Jerry and Nancy from Pulaski. And I'm sure that's not, that's just some of the many we have. So let's continue to be interactive as we continue. That way everybody is engaged and on point. Now, it's important to note that for you AAA folks, of course, we're gonna take a little bit of a white glove service as you are AAA members. And so you should know that there are a maximum flexibility offer. For any new reservations made through AAA for a rail bookers or Amtrak vacations trip, you are able to change the dates or cancel for any reason, as long as you inform AAA, and by extension, of course, then inform us five days or more prior to departure. Also, for any existing previously made reservations, you can reschedule five days or more prior to departure. Again, that's you informing AAA and AAA informing us. That's without incurring any change or cancellation fee. And that buy date is going through March 31st. By the way, Bev and Bob from Ovid has signed on. So Bev and Bob, happy to have you with us. Now, everybody here, I assume, hopefully, should be a AAA member. I know that's the truth. So AAA member benefits are, there's a good couple of them with us here at Amtrak Vacations and Rail Bookers. With Amtrak Vacations, you can save $50 per booking 
on any vacations that are five nights or more. And when you go on a package that is three destinations or more, you will receive a $100 bounce back coupon when you book and travel through AAA. Safe, uh, safe easy, simple, AAA is there to, to help service you. Now with real bookers, again, you can save any bookings, uh, $50 off any bookings that are five days or longer, and $100 for booking on any package that's seven days or longer. So a little bit of an extra benefit. Again, why you should be AAA members? It's the member benefits. It's the service. The folks are so friendly, so helpful, and can get you on your next journey. And it's important to note that when I present in a few moments on our packages, because we have many going to the national parks that are going to several exciting destinations, all of our rail vacations are customizable to start from your hometown. And I know some of your hometowns are Pulaski, Syracuse, uh, Fairport, Wheatfield. And so, of course, by going through AAA, you can get going from your most local station. In fact, there are over 500 different stations throughout the USA and Canada that Amtrak vacations and rail bookers can have you travel through. Popping up onto your screen now is the Amtrak vacation systems map. Everywhere on the map, you're seeing a colorful, squiggly little line. That's a route that Amtrak can travel on. Everywhere you're seeing a, a grayish, uh, dark gray dot, that's a destination that Amtrak vacations can travel to, where you have hotels, sightseeing, and attractions all bundled together and prepackaged together and bookable through AAA. Simple as that. Now, one of the big deals is, and, and things we need to talk about is how it is the train systems in this particular situation, Amtrak, maintaining a safe environment. Well, number one, facial coverings, a mask, i.e., is required in the stations, on the trains, and through and on the throughway motor coach bus services. That's for the passengers and the staff. Enhanced cleaning protocols have been put into place so that the stations, the trains, the equipment, everything is being cleaned daily, multiple times daily. It's go, we're going cashless and contactless. We can provide e-documents to you through your local, local AAA agent, and so you're not having to provide paper tickets throughout your travel. Social distancing posters and floor stickers are placed throughout the stations so that you are maintaining a physical distance. And trains themselves are running at a 50% less passenger capacity to also allow for physical and social distancing. And I wanna be very clear and honest. One of the biggest benefits of booking with an, uh, on an Amtrak vacations trip or rail bookers trip through AAA is the benefit of customizing the trip to fit your travel needs. So how can you customize a trip? Three simple examples, such as pick a vacation package. Whether you're sit sitting in the office with your local AAA travel advisor or looking through a brochure provided to you, pick an itinerary that you like. Add extra nights or subtract the nights. So maybe you want to spend a longer time in a destination or you've already been there, but you still want to go through and subtract the nights and select where you stay. We allow you to choose from three to four to five diamond hotels and lodging at the destinations. And if you're seeing a package that doesn't include a destination that you want to go to, but you do like that destination, add that on. Just let your local AAA travel advisor know that you want to go to XYZ destination so that you can make your itinerary your own. Simple question to you folks, and you've already been so great by being responsive and typing into the questions box. Does this excite you that you can create an itinerary that is just your own through AAA? Yes, no, maybe so. Maybe it's an exciting thing, maybe it's not. But 
we want to make sure you are getting on a trip that is exactly what you want. Type that yes, no, maybe so into the questions box on the side of the GoToWebinar platform. Some yeses are, are already coming across. Elaine, Donna, Joan, we thank you. Michael, I, I like that we got a maybe from Michael. Michael, I appreciate that. John and Kathy said yes. And again, you choose your hotels for your needs. And so that means maybe in one destination, you go at a three diamond option, but another at a four or five diamond. We can switch them in and out to fit your practical and request services. And here is where there's a little bit more of an excitement going on. And I was talking with Brian about this right before the webinar started, that we have a limited time offer where you can save, depending on how long you travel, on a three to six night itinerary, save $300 off per couple. On a seven to nine night, saving up to $400 per couple. And then on a 10 plus night, saving up to $500 per couple. Now folks, I will say that this is planning on ending at the end of the week, but you should still inquire with your local AAA travel advisor because just as there are member benefits, there may be an, a benefit of obtaining this as the week goes on. Now, some of our exciting packages. You can see the Glacier National Park getaway popping up onto your screen. It includes three nights hotel accommodations actually at the destination in Glacier National Park. So you're not staying 30 minutes, 30 miles outside of the National Park, you're actually staying in the National Park itself with a fully guided sightseeing tour They're going all throughout the park, going over the going to the Sun Road, down St. Mary Valley, plenty of wildlife viewing at Goat Lick. And you can start from any of 500 different stations to choose from. Now, Glacier Park is our top selling destination. And this photo popping up right now should explain why. There's thousands of glaciers, uh, hundreds of mountains, and quite literally hundreds of thousands of lakes all throughout the park up in the big sky area of Montana. And so we highly advise for you to get there on your next trip. And going out and seeing the sun setting over the mountain range with the purple mountain views in the background is one of the big benefits, one of the uh, once in a lifetime experiences that AAA can provide you folks. We can also send you to the Grand Canyon. Now, this itinerary is the Grand Canyon getaway round trip from Chicago, but that doesn't mean you can't go round trip from your most local hometown. Again, there are over 500 different stations to choose from, and so you'll just chat with your local AAA travel advisor, and they will help get you starting from your local hometown or help you to fly into and out of Chicago or wherever points beyond are. Now, to read our maps, everywhere you see a red arrow, that's the amount of nights on board the train. So you can see there are two nights round trip on board this itinerary. Everywhere you see a bubble with a number in it, that is the amount of nights included at the destination. This itinerary in particular includes round trip services on the Southwest Chief, which is the number four voted most scenic railroad on the Amtrak system, traveling through uh, the Red Rocks of the Southwest through the deserts, past many cacti. And what we would highly advise is checking with your local AAA travel advisor on the upgraded services, because you'll be traveling from Williams, Arizona, to the South Rim of the Canyon for your night stay at the South Rim on board the Grand Canyon Railway. Now, we base our accommodations on the Grand Canyon Railway in coach accommodations, but there is the uh, upgraded uh, 
uh, first class service where you can in, uh, get your complimentary uh, beverages, complimentary refreshments, as well as more plush, comfy seating, or even uh, going up into the luxury dome class where the windows go all the way up to the roof of the train car with those refreshments and the more plush, comfy seating included. And one of my favorite slides to show is this one. And in fact, on the last webinar, we had a AAA member saying, oh, I've been to the ooh ah point before and I would go again, or I'm excited to go back because when you have something called the ooh ah point, you really don't have to explain it. You can just know beautiful scenery all throughout and you will be staying at the south rim of the Grand Canyon for a night at the historic village. You can see that here. There's plenty of lodging to choose from at three, four, and five diamond level. Plenty of sightseeing throughout the south rim included. So that, folks, is the Grand Canyon getaway round trip from Chicago. So question. As Brian mentioned, this year is going to be, uh, you know, a good year for domestic travel. Is anybody excited to head out to Glacier National Park, the Grand Canyon, or even one of the more domestic parks uh, within the United States? That's a simple yes or no answer into the questions box. And you folks have been so uh, welcoming and, and so interactive before. I'm excited to see your question, your answers now. All right, we're getting uh, Tim, Elaine, Jerry, Lois, John and Kathy, Jacqueline, all saying yes. Lois said Glacier. Donna is now chiming in as well with a yes. This is why we want to show you the best that you can travel for this year and for next year for uh, through AAA. And Beverly was very honest. Beverly said, if if not this year, next year. And uh, Beverly uh, and Maril, uh, Marilyn said, how much? So to get a price, you would call your local AAA travel advisor. And Carol also said yes. Now, so we talked about Glacier. We talked about the Grand Canyon. Let's talk about Alaska. Cruises, for the most part, are not traveling to Alaska right now. Guess who can? We can. Rail bookers packages through AAA. Uh, Michael said he has done Glacier and the Grand Canyon. Michael, maybe Alaska is a little bit your size now. So this itinerary begins starting for three nights in Anchorage. One of those nights includes a day trip down to Seward for a Resurrection Bay cruise, and then heading up for two nights up into Denali for a two night stay in Denali and then doubling back down to Anchorage at the end of the trip. And here you can see the length and breadth of where you can travel by way of the Alaska Railroad. It's quite extensive. From Anchorage down to Seward, from Anchorage up to Talkeetna, to Denali, all the way up to Fairbanks. We have many different packages that are available to you on the, on an Alaskan railroad itinerary. Now, all of our packages are based in the adventure class level of service, which includes the automatic seating directly next to a big picture window, as you can see in the lower right-hand photo, with access to the Vista Dome cars, where there is availability on the upper level of the train. Meals can be purchased uh, out of pocket in the lower level uh, cafe car, and you are free to travel throughout the different levels of the adventure class. However, we would highly suggest if you are willing to ask your local AAA travel advisor to upgrade you to the Gold Star service, which automatically comes with seating in the Vista Dome cars, meals included in the lower level wilderness dining room, 
complimentary adult beverages and access to the open air uh, parts of the train outside where you can walk out. You can see it up in, on the upper level of photo on the slide to go out into the platforms to breathe in that brisk Alaskan air. And this itinerary includes round trip service by way of Anchorage, which is a major cultural hub of Alaska. And what's included within the package is a guided trolley tour. It's an hour long tour of Anchorage. So what we normally say is take that hour long tour so you can learn about the different neighborhoods, the different historical areas of Anchorage. And then because it is a hop on hop off tour, you can get on and off at the areas such as the Earthquake Park, such as Lake Hood, Westchester Lagoon, some of the more historic neighborhoods as well. You will also have a day, a day tour and trip down to uh, Seward with a Resurrection Bay half day experience out on a boat cruise where you'll travel to some of the remote islands such as Fox Island. You'll travel to some of the remote glaciers in the area. Now, it's important to note that if you were not on an itinerary such as this, you would not actually be able to set foot on these islands and glaciers because they are uh, preserved. And so this gives you an added benefit and extra experience on these opportunity tours. And you will spend time for two nights in Denali, uh, which covers about 6 million acres of Alaska's rugged interior wilderness with formerly known as Mount McKinley, now Denali, the tallest peak in North America, standing at over 20,000 feet high. And we include a full day tour throughout the park. Important to note that if you yourself were driving into this park, say by way of a rental car, you could only about cusp into about 15 miles into the park. This itinerary with this tour travels 92 miles into the park itself. You also can opt into one of three different sightseeing opportunities either a guided hiking tour, a history tour, or you will have someone teach you to pan for gold, like a gold rustler back in the heyday. And so uh, you can choose at your discretion whichever opportunity and tour you would like to go on. Then we have the ultimate Canada and Rockies westbound. For when Canada opens, oh, by the way, I like the response. Uh, Tim said, wow, this is beautiful. Tim, I think Alaska is absolutely gorgeous and a great opportunity for you and for anyone on here that has not gone to Alaska yet. Then we have the Ultimate Canada and Rockies westbound for when Canada opens back up, which includes two nights in Toronto with a full day tour out to Niagara Falls. Then taking the Canadian Via Rail, the Amtrak of Canada, essentially, for three nights across through Ontario, Manitoba, Saskatchewan, and out into Alberta, where we'll connect you out into the Canadian Rockies for a three night stay there round trip with a night in Banff, and then a journey over into Vancouver. And along the way, like I said, we include a sightseeing tour of Niagara Falls, sightseeing in Jasper National Park, Moline Lake, the Icefields Parkway, admission to the Banff gondola, et cetera, more and more. And here you can see the beauty of Canada. You have Vancouver in the upper left-hand corner. You have Lake Louise, which is included on one of the tours uh, as a stop by in the lower, lower left-hand corner, the Banff gondola in the lower right-hand. So this is the grand majesty of Canada and you are traveling there on board the Via Rail. Again, that is the Amtrak of Canada connecting across the country. And there is a couple of levels of service. There's the cabins for one. So if you're traveling as a solo traveler, this would be a big benefit to you. 
The bedding, by the way, in the cabins for one are is like sleeping on a cloud. I've done it myself. There's the cabins for two, good for any couples that have the, uh, during the day, two big plush seats. Everything folds down to bedding, bunk style at night with the restroom in the room itself. And even the prestige cabin, which is basically uh, traveling in the uh, queen's uh, quarters or the captain's quarters on board a cruise ship, but it, it uh, but instead on a train with a, a full down, full full down bed, not a bunk style, but rather a full bed during the evening, looking right out onto the big picture window, access to the park car, one of the select dome cars at the back of the train, alcohol included, meals included, as you can see popping up on here, and the dining on the via rail is an upgraded experience. It's quite wonderful. And there's several perks to upgrading, whether it is on V-Rail or Amtrak, such as priority boarding onto the train. Those that have sleeper accommodations can board the train uh, ahead of time, ahead of the general admission. And because you have your own cabin with your own privacy door, I mentioned earlier in the presentation, you have to wear a mask. Well, once you've shut those doors, that mask can be removed because we're filtrating the air at every four to five minute interval throughout the train with the new HVAC systems on board the various trains. You have a dedicated car attendant to your sleeper car. Plus, of course, they'll provide the included toiletries, bottled water and coffee, et cetera. And meals are included with all of the sleepers that's already factored into the pricing and they can be enjoyed in the dining car or privately in the sleeper themselves. Now, to give you a little idea of what it looks like on board Amtrak in the sleeper car, here you can see the roomettes, its own cabin with two big plush seats that face each other, a nice big picture window, your window on the world, and everything folds down to bunk style sleeping. You can see the bathroom just slightly down the hall. And here are the specs for the roomette. Up to two adults, one to two suitcases. Any large check bag will be checked into the uh, baggage car and will be provided to you when you get to your destination. Access to the restroom in the roomette car that is private for your roomette car. But if you want your own bathroom within the room itself, the next step up is the sleeper bedroom, which is the bigger of the cabins on board the train with a long couch, big captain's chair, and nice big picture window, just as you have in your roomette. And still, everything folds down a bunk style sleeper, but as you can see, there is a more sizable aspect to the bedroom and the bathroom is within the room itself. And just as I showed the specs for the roomette, I wanna show the specs for the bedroom. Again, fitting up to two adults, one to two suitcases. Uh, the, the big check bag will be in the baggage car, but it has in the room, restroom in the room shower. That is where the difference uh, entails. A friendly reminder about the maximum flex flexibility offer. Any new reservations can change travel dates or cancel as long as you inform your AAA travel advisor, and by extension, they inform us five days or more prior to departure. Any existing reservations that have already been made can be rescheduled under the same aspect five days or more prior to departure. This is without incurring any cancellation or change fee and that is bookable by March 31st. A friendly reminder that we are in the midst of a special sale, what we like to call making up for lost time, which I know a lot of people are doing now, and I know things are still a little bit um, US-centric, not really international-centric, but still, who here wants to travel? 
Just a yes or a no. Who here is ready to travel? Type that into the questions box, yes or no. But we can help you uh, through AAA with a special sale. You can save $300 to $400 to $500 off per couple. And I just got a whole slew of yeses right into the questions box of people who are ready uh, to travel. And, and I'm ready too. We're all looking to get out of our homes and see a little bit of a new scenery. So a bunch of yeses popped up. Now we did have a question and now is the time for question. Uh, can one enter Canada now? They cannot, but we wanted to include this on the presentation because you, there is a possibility Canada will open its borders. I know it's not opening its borders uh, uh, for right this minute, but as it opens up, that is another area that you can enter to that AAA can help you book through, through rail bookers. And um, any other questions, go ahead and type them into the questions box. And I also like to ask, what destinations are you interested in? When would you like to go? And by the way, I, it looks like most people are looking to travel now. So any questions? Uh, do you go to Yellowstone? Uh, very good question. Yes, we do. We have packages that do Yellowstone independently, Yellowstone and the Grand Tetons. We can even tie in Yellowstone with um, with Yosemite and Glacier Park or the Grand Canyon. Sue is saying she wants to go to Colorado. Uh, any other questions? Now would be the time to type them into the questions box. So uh, Donna asked a very good question. Is COVID testing required before departures? So we are not requiring it in any way, uh, and by, say, by me saying anyway, in form of a legal way. We will, of course, ask you or encourage you to get a COVID test, just as you would expect anybody to get a test prior to traveling en masse in a plane or on a train or in a, uh, a bus. So, But we are not legally enforcing it, but we would inquire it. Um, are there better destinations for young kids, families, uh, such as kids, kids ages nine and six? Very good question, Jeremy. I would highly encourage uh, gr the Grand Canyon. It's a wonderful place to take the kids. The itineraries on the Grand Canyon Railway are fun because there's a, a fun acting troupe that does a little kind of slapstick humor uh, show before traveling on board the train and on the way back that involves the children. Uh, national parks in general are a great place such as Yellowstone. It's wide open spaces. People, you don't have to worry about physical and social distancing because there's so much space you don't have to worry about it and then of course you know you you could always go to a, a once in a lifetime trip to a major city that you might not normally travel to where there's many opportunities for kids uh, as for uh, specific vouchers or whatnot Go, go through your local AAA travel advisor on what you have, and they will work with Amtrak Vacations and uh, get things booked for you. Uh, we got a question. Uh, can you combine Glacier, Yellowstone, and the Grand Tetons? In fact, we can, and we will. So um, naturally, we're getting a lot of, we're getting uh, multiple questions about the COVID test. So what I would say is, again, the, uh, we, we would highly suggest, as we would anybody, if you're traveling in an area that has multiple people in it, that you would get tested prior to traveling on board the train. As for those with a vaccine or ha that have taken a vaccine, even then, we would encourage it just to make sure, double, triple check before you go on your trip to make sure there's no complications there but we are not legally or forcibly enforcing this on people. We would just encourage it to be friendly. You know, be, be, be kindly to your neighbor, so to speak. That is, uh, sounds like the last question that's coming through. Um, Brian, I, I, know, uh, I know we've had a lot of great interaction 
on the presentation. If uh, if there's any housekeeping for AAA that you want to bring back on, uh, thank you so much again for allowing me to present this afternoon. Jared, thank you so much. What a great presentation. I know, um, you know, uh, National Parks, uh, a rail adventure, so spectacular. I was up in Alaska a year and a half ago, and um, I have to tell you, land is just as exciting as sea. So that land experience with Denali and Fairbanks, um, so many sites to see. I think this is going to be a really um, popular summer. Um, to our participants, don't forget about the $500 off per couple and the member benefit of $50 and the bounce back upon return for another vacation. So many opportunities. Our travel consultants can help you. Our branches are open. Uh, we offer virtual travel planning from the comfort of your own home as well. So um, whatever works best for you, we want to help you think about getting out and uh, seeing our beautiful country. So again, thank you all. Um, thank you, Jared, and uh, have a great afternoon, everyone. Thank you so much, everybody. Have a great afternoon. Thank you, Brian.